The Earth is roughly 70% water. However, only 3% of this water is fresh water. Much of this fresh water is frozen in glaciers. You'll find some of the water in rivers and lakes. But almost 30% of this fresh water is groundwater. But what is groundwater? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Groundwater. Groundwater is water that finds its way between the gaps of rocks and sediments underground. As the water seeps into the ground, it may find its way into an aquifer. Aquifers are large underground rock layers saturated with groundwater. An aquifer is not an underground river, but large porous layers of rock. For example, the Floridian Aquifer covers the entire state of Florida and is over 100,000 square miles. Think of an aquifer like a huge underground sponge that soaks up the water that falls to the surface of the earth. If you grabbed a shovel and started digging straight down, you may strike water. The first water you strike is called the water table. Below the water table, the rock may be completely soaked. This is called the saturation zone. The rocks and minerals above the saturation zone may be dry and is called the unsaturated zone. So how does this water end up in the ground? When it rains, some of the water moves down into the ground. If this water moves deep enough, it can stay there for a long time, like thousands of years. However, not all of the groundwater stays underground. Much of the surface water comes from groundwater and aquifers. If the ground dips below the water table, the groundwater will flow to the surface and may create a body of surface water, like a lake. Groundwater can also flow out of the water and create a stream. This is called a spring. However, some groundwater is so deep that it's difficult to get to. These bodies of groundwater are called confined groundwater. Humans depend on groundwater for drinking water and for growing crops. This groundwater can be reached by digging a well. There are thousands and thousands of wells throughout the world that provide drinking water and water for our crops. If you'd like to know more about groundwater, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.